Chaksun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manavistam Stadita Utalai Svayam Rupa Kidamayam Dadati Svam Kadati Kam Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pustaya Utalai Shri Makti Bhakti Varanta Swami Tinamane Namaste Saraswati Deve Gaudagani Pacharine Nevese Sasinya Nari Pasta Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Yukimanda Sri Advaita Gadahar Sivasi Gaur Bhakti Vindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hari Hari Vanchakalpa Kirubas Cha Kirubasindu Deva Cha Patitani Imam Pavani Yo Vaishnavi Yama Nama So I'll pose some questions. Questions are, well, not some questions, some thought processes. Um, sometimes we express our feelings that we're not able to make advancement by chanting our rounds or even by increasing the chanting of rounds. Um, generally, the reason why is maybe we're, we have a tendency to be a little mechanical in the chanting because maybe we look in terms of the mechanics of the chanting, the time period allowed, the amount of rounds we're going to do, rather than focusing on Krishna and the mood of devotion. Being mindful of chanting, one of the characteristics is to realize that Krishna and his, his name are the same. To understand that from our perspective is a matter of realization. So if we don't have that realization, we really can't understand it. We can accept it based on the theoretical premise given to us through the scriptures and by Srila Prabhupada. But to understand that Krishna and his name are the same means to come to that stage of experiencing that. And so, therefore, when we're chanting, we should always remember that point that I'm making an attempt to associate with Krishna, and Krishna wants to associate with me, but he becomes available or recognizable in our association when we have that proper mood. And that one of that mood is that the name of Krishna and Krishna is the same. And the name of Krishna is actually more merciful than Krishna. And that's brought out by a beautiful verse by Srila Rupa Goswami in his um, prayers named Namaska, Namastika. He mentions that there are two aspects. There are Krishna and there is Krishna's name. But we can understand that the name of Krishna is even more merciful than Krishna because if we approach Krishna direct to get his get mercy, it may not happen. And generally it doesn't. But if we approach Krishna through his name, and Krishna reveal his reels and can reveal himself through his name. So Nama, the name, and Nami, he who is named, uh, we understand that Nama is more merciful. He's a person. And so we should always be aware that I we're trying to connect with not only a person, but the best of all persons. <laughs> Thank you. 
And if we forget that, we kind of minimize what we're actually doing. We're actually being allowed entrance into the association of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, the source of everything. Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, some people give up all offenses and chant constantly, but still they don't experience the awakening of love of God. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, this is due to the offense of inattention Although all the other offenses may never enter into the life of a devotee, because inattention is still there in the process of chanting, Prema doesn't develop, real or even Baba, Baba doesn't develop perfection for Krishna. One should be very diligent and very aware of how the mind works and very diligent on how to control the mind or keep the mind focused on the holy name. Sometimes chanting is so sweet and so nice and so effortless that we could go on forever. And sometimes even with the greatest effort, we find ourselves unable to stay connected to the sound. Um, that means we're still on the platform of, of uh, an art and Vritti, or maybe we're, we're approaching the platform of Nishta. So we still have some an art is there that cause us to lose connection with the holy name when we chant. And that's the nature of these an artist. They divert our attention away from Krishna. Even if we don't focus on the anarta itself, still just the fact that they're present can cause us to become diverted away from the attention. Not so much on the anartha, but because the mind still has unfulfilled material desires, it, some, it looks for something to fulfill that. Even when we're chanting. Sometimes people chant and then we go from one sense object to another, one thought to another, one experience to another, one material mood to another, like that. And if one continues to chant like that, one will develop an indifference, which is really a very hard element to get over. One becomes indifferent when chanting the holy names. And then the enthusiasm, the devotion, and the needed attention doesn't arise. So one has to be very aware whether I'm hearing nicely or not, and if not, then bring back the hearing process constantly. So this inattention is really difficult to get over. Of course, with this present situation where some of the devotees are finding themselves in a situation where they have to chant alone, uh, which may make it even more difficult to hear, then uh, inattention be becomes more prominent, or can be, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Sometimes devotees like to chant alone because they find it's easier for them to concentrate. And some like to chant with others because they find it in that way, it's easier to concentrate. You have to see 
what best works for you. Of course, Prabhupada does recommend we chant in association with the devotees. Bhakti Vinod Thakur gives us some practical advice, which is very supportive. He says, one who by some good fortune develops faith, carefully chants the fixed numbers of, of names, uh, that faith and that enthusiasm for uh, that, that uh, regularity for chanting helps one to become more enthusiastic. Uh, if enthusiasm hasn't developed yet for chanting, one should very carefully chant very attentively the holy name. And that will slowly come back. One should make a, a vow not to neglect the chanting of their names and to continue to chant according to the numerical vow. One should make a sankalpa that I want to chant with attention. I want to chant with free from offenses. I want to increase my, my number of rounds whenever I can, or even as a daily vow. Well, one should be thinking that this is the, the mercy of the holy name is a gift coming from Krishna himself, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So a, a sense of gratefulness can also be accompanying our chanting. And that helps us, that, that, that gratefulness is a type of humility, which opens up the heart and allows the holy name to enter easily, easy, easily, easy, easily. One can spend time praying to the holy name to get the mercy of the holy name. And one should very carefully chant the holy names, making sure it is done clearly and distinctly. This is very important. If we don't chant the name clearly or distinctly, we will find inattention will automatically become a regular feature because when the name is sounded clearly, Krishna, Prabhupada sometimes would imitate devotees chanting wrongly. He would say, he would say, not like that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari clearly hmm. Bhakti Vinoda Kaur says something that is very fundamental to our success in chanting he says simply by one's own effort no one in the material world can overcome inattention so no matter what you do you can't overcome inattention. Only, and he adds, simply such a victory can only come by merciful blessings. Mm -hmm. well, here's the key. So it says, and then he ends, he says, I take great care, care to beg for you for the mercy of the Lord, my dear Sachi Nandana. My heart overcome with emotion, knowing that you are all mercy and you will always be generous with your blessings. Then he says, if I make no effort, meaning the effort to beg for your mercy, then I'll, I'll always remain unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Here's a nice verse from this is from Rupa Goswami's Padyavali. Amham saurabham akila sakrit 
udaya eva sakala lokasya tanayer eva timira jaladim jayanti jagan mangala harir nama as the rising sun immediately dissipates all the world's darkness which is deep like an ocean so the name of the lord if chanted once without offenses can dissipate the reaction of all the living beings sinful life all glories to that holy name of the lord who is auspicious for the entire world and here's another one kal kal yanam didanam kalamalam nam pavanam pavananam pateya yam mumuksok sapadi parapada patra praptaye pachomanam vishramam stanam nikam ka vibhara vacha samjivanam sad jananam bi jam dharmam dumas dumaskya prabhavatu bhavatam bhutaye krishna nama may krishna's holy name which is the reservoir of all transcendental happiness the destruction of kali yuga sins the most purifying of all purifying things the saintly food person's food as he quickly traverses the path of the spiritual world the pleasure gardens where the voices of the great saints philosophers and poets play the life of the righteous and the seed of the tree of religion bring transcendental happiness to you all that's also from rupa goswami's padyavali now that's a beautiful treatise if you can get a copy rupa goswami's padyavali and there are so many beautiful beautiful verses on bhakti but a lot of the verses in there are in glorification of the holy name by personalities you may never even heard of before Padyavali was a compilation that was done by Rupa Goswami of his favorite verses. So he took verses from everywhere and put it together in this work entitled Padyavali. And these are some words of encouragement. That we can adopt in our chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahama mantra. Remember, we should always be aware that the holy name, the chanting of our rounds is the most important part of the day. And that day should be given maximum time and attention and complete uh, absorption. In other words, we should shut off the cell phones. What you do, what I do is before I begin chanting, if I, I'll check my message see if there's any messages usually there's nothing sometimes mother leela manjari from chicago sends me a nice quote on the holy name which starts my day off and then i read that and i meditate on a that a little bit while i'm chanting and uh, then i don't touch that phone until i am finished because i feel that and this is this is a general principle we should always be you know fully attentive because we we call it japa meditation and meditation means absorption into the name
Okay, so these, these are some points we can think about the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So we'll just conclude there. See if there's any questions regarding chanting of the holy name. It's always nice to review this subject matter because it's so important. It makes up the essence of our Krishna consciousness. And for those who we might call them who have progressed in Krishna consciousness to a certain level of practice, they find that chanting the holy names of the Lord is their most important activity and their most desired activity. <coughs> like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can... The world, we, have, we live this busy life of ours with so many things that even though we are somewhat restricted in our movements due to the present situation, still we find ourselves very, very busy, sometimes even more so now. Um, at least a lot of devotees have expressed that even now during this, this particular time, you know, devotees find themselves more busy than they ever been. So, um, but we should never substitute our, our, what we say, our activities, either materially or spiritually, and put them, you know, in place of our chanting. Because chanting is, I think, the history of our society is that many devotees who had left Krishna consciousness or those who were leaders in the positions they held, Many of them fell down from their positions or even from the process of bhakti because they became weak in their sadhana. So uh, if you want to really stay strong in Krishna consciousness, remember these two things to avoid. One, avoid weak and sporadic sadhana, keep sadhana regularly and try to build the quality of your sadhana through reading about the holy name, hearing about the holy name, reading Krishna's pastimes, hearing from the great souls through various medias. This sadhana is important. And of course, if we are living in a home and we have deities, that becomes a focus of our sadhana, worshiping our deities every day. And the other thing is avoid criticizing and finding fault with Vaishnavas. These two things will make our Krishna consciousness very disturbed and very difficult. So stay away from these two. Uh, weak sadhana and Vaishnav criticism or Vaishnav aparad. Okay, so any questions or comments? I'll start my video now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, for reminding us again about how fundamental it is to focus and have attentive chanting. Uh, this is, I confess, a big weakness of mine. So thank you for reminding us to work in this area. Thank you, dear devotees, for listening carefully to Guru Maharaj. Please share your questions, your realizations. Thank you, and so let's help each other again. By the way, if you can bring it now, if you can. I'm still with you.
Uh, Guru Maharaj, there's a question on the chat from Janaba Mataji. She says, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Thank you for the lecture. Can we look at a Krishna picture while we are chanting? That's nice. Yeah, Krishna's picture, Krishna's name, and it's not different. That will help. That may help keeping the mind from looking at other things. Or you can close your eyes, but sometimes closing your eyes could make us sleepy. But yeah, looking at a picture is done by many devotees. It's also uh, a way to help control the wandering mind and focusing it. Is that all right with you, Janava? Or do you have further questions? Okay, thank you. Mother Deepti has raised her hand and she would like to ask a question, Guru Maharaj. I'm here. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Thank you for your good class. We needed this reminder, definitely. It is really hard. Sometimes, as you mentioned, it is so easy and you feel like chanting and chanting and chanting, but I was actually recently struggling with chanting and, and now listening to your class, I think it will help me definitely. Because when, you know, when I'm not focusing, my round takes around 12 minutes, 13 minutes, 14 minutes to finish. And if I'm focusing properly, I can finish in at least seven to eight minutes. And that tells me that I'm not focusing when my round is taking longer. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying, but I was struggling and I was thinking that where am I going wrong? But now when you mentioned that focus is not there, I will, I will try and yeah, try and pray because our the prayer will make the difference yeah. in whether you're successful in focusing or not. Mm. We pray to Lord Chaitanya for his for his mercy, so you can chant attentively. Mm. Okay. Definitely, thank you, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Uh, well. Thank you. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Agnoris to Srila Prabhupada and Agnoris to you. Uh, thank you very much for this, uh, this wonderful class. Uh, again, uh, reminding uh, the, the importance of the holy name and our mood. And uh, uh, recently I just had uh, 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 one of my friend, uh, friends uh, revealed me that uh, revealed to me that uh, um, uh, she had she de decreased uh, her numbers uh, of japa, and uh, I was I actually I didn't really know how to properly react because uh, I I think that it's so important to uh, um, not to judge. Uh, and uh, and also to inspire and uh, can you tell something about how we can inspire friends in in these uh, difficult situations? Well, when she says she's decreased, that you you should ask why. Mm -hmm. Based on what she says, then you may be able to say something helpful. Mm -hmm. I have to know there's different reasons why a person may decrease their arms. Yeah, uh, she she told me that actually that uh, uh, her uh, spouse is uh, not really uh, into sadhana. So uh, he also comes to programs and also chants, but uh, uh, this Mataji would like to have uh, more support uh, in her sadhana and because 
uh, he, uh, she feels that he's not partner in this. Uh, this causes difficulties. So. Well, yeah, when you're with someone in, in that that close proximity, it's always be good to be on the same page with your spiritual practice because it'll affect. Mm -hmm. But what she can do is stay strong and, and increase her rounds and that way it may affect him to increase. Why should she go the other way? Why doesn't she just remain strong and try to pull him up instead of going down? That would be the logical thing because just to be on the same page doesn't mean going down, you know? To me, it sounds like she's, uh, she also has that desire, maybe influenced by his association or for whatever reason. I see. And there, is there yeah, anything so, which I can yeah, do to help? Yeah, I mean, I know one, I won't mention any names, one person who really a nice devotee I mean, her service is super excellent in quality. Uh, very generous by nature. Uh, has a wonderful, wonderful spiritual master. But she gave up chanting. She just gave up. All her 16 rounds doesn't want to chant at all, doesn't want to hear any reasons why she should chant either. <laughs> Still associates with devotees, comes to the programs occasionally, has two children to take care of, which are somewhat grown up, not too grown up, but they're, you know, teenagers but you know I've tried so many things to encourage her to chant but she just shuts down when I try so I you know there's nothing I can do obviously either people have tried and tried and tried and then because they don't get any taste or they they can't get over certain anarthas that are causing them to, to lose the taste. Or they think, well, you know, I can get so much other work, other stuff done. I'm still a devotee. I have my name. I have my guru. I have my service. I still associate sometimes. So how do you, you know, how, what do you do with that? You know, <laughs> well, you, the only thing you can do from your perspective is just pray to Krishna for them. And sometimes, of course, we don't pray like this, but we're happy when they have some crisis in their life because it makes them more, again, come back to chanting. And that's the reason why we preach, because we know that people may not take it immediately, but when something happens in their life, which reminds them of the importance of their spiritual practice, whether it's good or bad, um, then things change again. This is the age of Kali, when people are not able to stay fixed on spiritual life. It's very difficult. But we need to get that taste and until people have that taste. So one of the things you can help them get the taste is invite them to come to kirtans because kirtans, it's easier to get a taste for the holy name when you're in kirtan. We have this uh, this group. We used to uh, chant together uh, once a week, and she's part of that group. And she says that uh, this is actually the how to say the highlight of her week. 
So yeah. yeah she likes she likes the kirtan, right? <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yeah, there's even there's a group of people in our movement who just do kirtan, don't chant japa. <laughs> But they're not getting the mercy because the mercy it comes with the instructions and the instruction says that chanting the holy name is both kirtan and japa and even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who was very fond of performing kirtan was always very diligent to chant on beads. He would chant his prescribed rounds of we're not, I'm not sure how many rounds he chanted each day, but he would always regularly chant on beads and count those beads also. It, it actually feels that uh, it's just like uh, knowing different uh, sides of Krishna, like uh, with uh, all his associates or like in a more private way. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about some mentorship thing. Maybe I can call you right after the today's class. Uh, yes, of course. It'll be brief. It's just one point, that, but it's important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Guru mm -hmm. Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances again. I have a question regarding exactly what Radha Vinodini said. And uh, I want to know whether the dynamics of a partnership makes a big difference in our sadhana. For example, if a woman has a husband who is weak in a sadhana, and then she tries to become stronger in a sadhana, she may be afraid of losing him. Because if she becomes stronger and better, then it's very threatening for the man. And she may prefer to be, you know, lackadaisical like him just to keep the relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that goes on. But there's another person involved that's called Krishna. <laughs> we give up Krishna so we can have husband. I'm not sure if that's the best form of compromise. <laughs> Of course, I'm not in that situation, but I've seen you know, people compromise their spiritual life in order to so-called keep their marriage together. I've even seen people break the four regulative principles because the partner, one partner cannot follow and puts pressure on the other partner. And then that other partner who was fixed in Krishna consciousness, very strict in order to keep the marriage going compromises his principles I've seen that also that's always it's always better to, to work together as a team and if one is going down the other one should be able to pull that up and vice versa Yes, Guru Maharaj, thank you. We have another question coming from Lavanya's friend, and her question is, sometimes the mind gets distracted so much that it is very tough to focus. So should we stop chanting at that time and then continue at a later time when, without those distractions? No, just chant really loud. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Chant a few rounds really loud, and then you'll see your attention will come back again. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. It works. Okay. A little bit of an effort. You, you just start chanting loudly, and then slowly, loudly, clearly, and then about one or two rounds like that, you'll start seeing it becomes easy to connect again, and then you can gradually reduce your volume and start to more, again, focus in a normal way. It works, just loud chanting. Shri 
loud yeah. chanting loud chanting pushes out everything whatever is in the mind will be kicked out by loud chanting sometimes you have to use that that technique in order to get back to this to to normal you know even Prabhupada talked about that about how he would use that sometimes when his mind was concerned about a lot of the things that were going on in the society and he was you know disturbed by that so he said i would just chant loudly and then everything would again be normal <laughs> Loud chanting works. It says it also keeps keeps thieves, dacoits, ghosts, and evil spirits far, far away by the loud chanting of the holy name. That was about it. Any other questions? Uh, yes, Guru Maharaj. She says, can we also write down the Maha Mantra? Does it help with the concentration part? She also says, inattention is a big challenge. Please, Maharaj, can you give more tips? Well, there's so many tips. Try to listen to the first Hare every time you chant the mantra. Focus on the first Hare in the mantra. And that helps to bring about attention. If you do that regularly, you'll find it becomes easier to hear the rest of the mantra. That's one tip that works very nicely because you're actually entering into the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra slowly. So through that focus on the first Hare, it allows you to connect more with the rest of, this, the, rest of the names in the mantra. And then when that starts to become regular, when you start hearing the whole mantra, mantra then uh, it becomes more natural. So focus on the first Hare. That's a recommended technique that devotees have been using. And I find it personally, it works very helpful for me when my mind starts thinking about other things. I go back to the first Hare again, and then I find it's easier to, to connect with the whole mantra. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Namrata has raised her hand. She would like to ask a question. Hare Krishna. Please accept Hare my Krishna. humble obeisance. Please accept my Thank humble obeisance. All glory to Srila Prabhupada and all glory to you, Maharaj. Uh, I just wanted to share my realization of, uh, while chanting. Um, my, 
when i chant my uh, initial rounds maybe like uh, uh, 7 to 8 rounds are uh, not that uh, the mind keeps fluctuating uh, other thoughts come in and later after 9 10 rounds i really start concentrating on what i am speak i'm i'm uttering so i go deep inside uh, the mantra so is it fine or should i uh constant i mean i should i try to improve my earlier part also well naturally but that's usually the process by continuing to chant and working on hearing gradually the attention starts to build and then you get absorbed more but usually it doesn't take seven or eight rounds but maybe in some cases maybe in your case it will shit maybe it does so see if you can uh come to the that point of absorption a little sooner in your in your rounds just try maybe if you if it takes you to the ninth round before you get absorbed try to get absorbed in the eighth round or seventh round okay just push it up a little mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's just a matter of concentration. Okay. But and Maharaj, we, is it we, if we remember Krishna throughout the day and we chant throughout the day in whatever work we're doing, then when we sit down to chant, it's more natural. If we only chant those two those 16 rounds and the rest of the day we don't connect with the holy name then you're going to find it more harder to to chant okay i try to complete most of mo- major part of my round in early morning uh time so uh then later uh, after you know eight eight uh, eight nine rounds when i start absorbing i i sometimes tend to tend to even forget on which round i am you have counter beats <laughs> uh no i just have the simple tulsi mala no we we should get just get yourself a pair of counter beats and count along when you count on your rounds I probably wanted us to make sure we carefully keep uh, count of the rounds we do. So beads are available. I know you're in India right now so you can find counter beads anywhere in India since they're all over the place. Okay, sure Maharaj. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, you know, even general shops they have counter beads or some things like there. Mm. Okay. Yeah, using counter beads have 20 beads on a on a string. Like that. And you just tie them onto your big bag and then you push them down as you do each round. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you Maharaj. Hare go namrata Hare Krishna. <laughs> Dear devotees please come forward and share your realizations your challenges in chanting this is so fundamental to our spiritual life so we humbly encourage you to come forward and get all your doubts cleared by our loving guru maharaj who wants to help us improve our chanting hari krishna guru maharaj please accept my humble obeisances all glories to shri prabhupada all glories to you hari bol um uh, guru maharaj um thank you so much for um uh, giving uh, reminding us on this topic again uh, inattentive chanting is a problem with me too i'm very much struggling with that and um, so the tips you gave right now um i i'll just work it uh, work on them uh, so uh, i think definitely that will work um, for me thank you so much guru maharaj and uh, i have a question guru maharaj like i'm always stuck on the number 16 rounds i'm unable to uh, do some extra rounds guru maharaj so 
my mind is always stuck on six. Once I finish sixteen rounds, then I don't want to chant again. I'm not getting that taste. And but on Ekadashi the days, I'm able to. I'm my mind is fixed on some extra rounds. But um, normal daily, uh, if I want to chant more, um, how to uh, do that, Guru Maharaj? Like beyond sixteen. Well, like like we make a sixteen. Numerical vow. We can always also make a an increased vow. Like for years, I was doing twenty rounds, so I had four extra rounds, and I would always do them at a certain time in the day. So I, after making that vow that I will chant four more, then I always did it. So that's that's how you do it. <clears throat> you make a vow. To chant maybe two more rounds every day, eighteen or nineteen or whatever. If you don't make a vow, then there's nothing to keep you from, you know, from doing it. You'll just you'll do it or, or you won't do it, depending on how you feel. Making the vow makes it. Oh, I promise, Krishna, I'll do four more rounds, so I must do it. I'll find the time somewhere. If I don't find, if I can't do it in my regular normal time, I'll do it sometime during the day. So that's nice. That works. It's that's the only way, really. Same with reading. If you want to read, you have to schedule it at a certain time every day. You want to, if you want to get up, you have to schedule your rising in the morning. You have to schedule your taking rest in the evening. All these things are uh, a regulated life is an effective life. A regulated life is a happy life. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj. So schedule it. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, and then once you schedule it, you'll do it. Mm. All right, I have to tend to something while I'm talking, so I'm back again. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. That helps. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We have any devotees from Croatia out there online? Any Croatian devotees? Let's see. Manjuali's there. That's all, just Manjuali. Manjuali, where were you last year at this time?
in Switzerland. Okay. All right, so we'll stop here and uh, we'll continue. And tomorrow we'll try to do some pastimes of Lord Chaitanya and get into the mood of Lord Chaitanya's appearance. Uh, a quick question, Guru Maharaj, if you don't mind. What can we do as a God family, as God brothers and God sisters, to help each other chant better? Sadhu Sangha, just, you're, just like what you're doing, you, you have this little group of chanters every day. Devotees can start their own little group or join another group. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Okay, we'll stop here. Thank you very much. And um, maybe we'll chant one round together. Oh, thank you, Guru Maharaj. That would be wonderful. Okay. Jai Krishna, Jai Tanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadara, Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhaktivindam. Try to hear nicely and sound every name clearly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. 
Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. 